Hello my darlings, today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. I'm having a bit of fun with this one with some glitter, pearls, and flowers to put together a pearlescent flower fairy makeup look. This video is in collaboration with Floresis and this look is highly inspired by their latest collection, You Are the Pearl of My Eye. This collection is in celebration of Valentine's Day in ancient China. This collection is in collaboration with Susan Fong. She's also one of the top 10 Asian new designers and has been selected for Forbes 30 Under 30 for two years in a row. And together, Susan Fong and Floresis have created this romantic pearl edition of their Blooming Rouge Love Lock Lipstick and Eastern Romance Eyeshadow Palette. Thank you so much to Floresis for sponsoring this video. And with that, let's get started with this makeup look. So first off, I already started by prepping my face with some sunscreen, which also doubles as a primer. Now to prep my lips, I'm using the Ginseng Care Lip Balm from Floresis, and this is one of my favorite lip balms actually, and I'm so glad that I got a restock. It's incredibly hydrating and also has a really refreshing minty feel from the Ginseng. For my foundation, I'm using one of my new favorite foundations. This is the Dendrobium Hydrating Fluid Foundation. I tend to not be a big fan of foundations, but I really like this one because it's incredibly hydrating and has the perfect amount of medium coverage. So I can cover up all of my discoloration while allowing the natural dewiness of my skin to still peek through. For my blush, I'm using the Floral Dew Care Cream to Powder Blush, and I'm using the color 10 in Tipsy Rose. And to give a youthful dewy glow, I'm applying this on the apples of my cheeks, the tip of my nose, my nose bridge, and also on the tip of my chin. I've been looking for a new blush recently. Sometimes creams can be a little bit too creamy for the summer and they don't stay on my face, and sometimes powder accentuates the dryness of my skin. So this is actually the perfect combination of a cream and powder blush. For my highlighter, I'm using one of my new favorite highlighters. This is the Eastern Beasts Sculpting Makeup Palette from Floresis, and I'm using this shade on the right side. So this makeup palette has highlighters, blushes, and also a bronzer. And as you can see, this highlighter is so beautiful. It's understated, so it's more on the natural side, but still gives a beautiful glimmer. For my eyebrows, I'm kind of growing out my previously bleached eyebrows, so they're a little bit funny looking right now. So I'm just going to fill in the tail end of my eyebrows with this floral eye pencil from Floresis. It only takes a couple of strokes to fill in my eyebrows, and then using the brush head on the other side, I'm just brushing this out lightly to blend it into my natural eyebrows. For my lips, I'm using the Pearl Edition Blooming Rouge Love Lock Lipstick. Not only is the packaging the most adorable thing in the entire world, which makes this a perfect collector's item for people like me, the chain on the lipstick can also double as a bracelet. I'm using the Midtone Rose Pink, and I'm applying this over the Ginseng Lip Mask to give it a hydrating appearance. This lipstick is formulated with extracts of cotton rose, summer snowflake flower, and madonna lily to nourish your lips and reduce the appearance of lip wrinkles. I'm lightly setting my makeup around the t-zone and under my eyes with the flawless jade breathable setting powder. And that's it for my base makeup and now I'm going to be moving into my eyes. First, I'm using a white eyeshadow stick over my entire eyelid as well as on the bottom lash line just to prime my eyes because we're going to be using pastel colored eyeshadow. I'm using my fingers to blend out the eyeshadow stick and then I'm going to start going in with my eyeshadow. The eyeshadow palette that I'm using today is the Eastern Romance Eyeshadow Palette Pearl Edition, again in collaboration between Floresis and Susan Fong. This set comes with the eyeshadow palette, the pearl stickers, as well as a necklace. And the color that I'm going to be using today is Mermaid in Moonlight. So using my fingers, I'm applying the color Mist, which is the cool pink, on the center of my eyelids. And I'm building this up a couple of times to get a true pigmented color. I'm also applying this on the lower lash lines as well. Then taking the color Illusion, which is the matte violet color. I'm using an angled brush and I'm building this on the outer corner of my eye and fanning this out into a very light cat eye shape. Taking the same violet color, I'm applying this on the inner corners and I'm blending this into the pink. Using the same violet color, I'm applying this to the outer half of my lower lash line. Then using my fingers, I'm taking the color Moonlight, which is the shimmery violet color, and I'm applying this to the center of my eyelid right on top of the pink. Then taking a liquid glitter eyeshadow, I'm emphasizing the dimension by adding this to the center of my eyelids. I'm also adding this glitter to the center of my lower lash lines to give sort of a teary-eyed effect. This actually has been one of my favorite things to add to all of my makeup looks recently just to give a little bit of extra shimmer. Then I'm taking some glitter and I'm adding this sort of in a teardrop shape on the center of my lower lash line and dragging this down. 
Taking the same glitter, I'm applying this to the center of my eyelid. By keeping the light eyeshadow and also the shimmer on the center of your eyes, this creates a lot of dimension. I'm choosing to skip eyeliner for this look because the colors are so pastel, I didn't want to overwhelm it with any sort of dark eyeliner. So instead, I'm going to bring definition to my eyes using mascara and false lashes. I wanted my eyelashes to look really flirty and to have them fan out towards the side, and I'm doing this by shaping my eyelashes with mascara. So I'm applying mascara mainly on the outer part of my eyelashes, and I'm fanning them out towards the side rather than going upwards. Then to further emphasize the flirty shape of our eyes, I'm applying half lashes to the outer half of my lash line. And of course, I'm also applying mascara to my lower lashes, and that's it for the base of our makeup look. You can stop here if you want this to be a more wearable daily look, but of course, I had to play up this look because I was so inspired by the theme of this collection. So I found these super fun paper flowers from my local craft store in the scrapbooking section, and I grabbed some eyelash glue and I just started pasting pink and purple flowers around my face, around my eyes, and a couple down my cheeks as if the flowers were sort of falling down. Now this is my favorite part of the entire look. These pearl face stickers come with the eyeshadow palette collection and it already has adhesive on the back which makes it super quick and easy to apply. I'm just taking a pair of tweezers and I'm adding them around my face following the flow of the flowers as if it's raining flowers and pearls on my face. Then taking a mix of some of the big and small pearls, I'm adding this to my hair so that the pearls are cascading down. This is the first time that I've tried adding pearls like this into my hair and they actually stuck really well with the adhesive that already came with the pearls. I really felt like a fairy with these pearls and butterflies cascading down the side of my hair and I really love how this all came together. I feel like the concept of this collection from Floresis of Chinese Valentine's Day, pearls and celebrating love, as well as the aesthetics and the floral motifs from Susan Fong were a match made in heaven and you know me, this is right up my alley. I love anything that has to do with Chinese culture and anything that's cute and pink and girly. And so I'm so happy with how this look came out. Thank you so much to Floresis for partnering with me and allowing me to live out my fairy fantasies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, I will see you guys again next week.